Hello and welcome back to Paul Quest 6. Welcome, 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 welcome. Yes, and I am joined once again by my brother Daniel of Fight the Future fame. Hey everybody. And uh, we are, when we last left our hero, he was uh, hanging out in what appears to be some sort of college dorm room that he was kidnapped and taken to. Uh, and yeah. By a very loose system of guarding. Yeah, the, this is kind of an interesting, like I remember at the very beginning of the game, I was a little concerned because there was like so many different places to go. And it was like, Jesus, how, what do I do with all this? There's all, so many different things wandering around. Whereas here we have two rooms. So uh -huh. or we're kind of limited in what we can do, and we didn't. We kind of got stuck last time. Um, so, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Uh, so we're we're gonna have to see what we can do about getting out of here. We have a secret weapon. Yeah. One thing that became clear, uh, actually, thanks to a YouTube comment, uh, mentioned that there was copy protection on Space Quest Six which I didn't think there was because I have the manual for the Space Quest collection that came with the game and it has the copy protection for Space Quest 5 and 4 and doesn't say anything about Space Quest 6. But it turns out there is supposed to be a secondary thing that comes with the uh, that comes with the doc uh, the box uh, which is a issue of popular genetronics which, if you recall, when we were looking at the uh, the computer here, the game, the, the one of the CDs was like popular genetronics, and it had like how to convert your thingamajiggy into a homing beacon, which will be covered in next issue. So I guess this is the next issue because it has info on that. So that is something we will investigate. I'm just trying to remember. If there's anything in here that we can look at still. What's this guy doing? It's one of those wads of lard you ran into at the inn. Yep, he's dead. Did we it's kill him? It's one of those wads of lard. <laughs> we killed oh, right, we electrified it, didn't we? We Yeah, it's, it's rubbed a hilarious our hands. game. Where you there's a basically a pile of dead meat that you killed. A corpse. Actually, wait a minute. Can I be searching rob the corpse yeah searching robbing corpses is an important part of the this space is, quest process this is a terrible terrible habit the video games have created what do you want to do give him a nice massage wise up this guy values you less than Starcon does that was written for before he was dead <laughs> yeah uh can you grab the thing out of his neck? What do you want to do? Nope, Give him nope. a... Okay. What do you want to do? Okay, stop grabbing his body parts. Okay. And, uh... Oh, I just got that Alvis. Oh. On the ground. Isn't it pelvis? Like Alf? I thought it was pelvis. Oh. No. oh. Maybe you're right. Resolution is still <laughs> clearing up. Uh... I although Alvis would make more sense something. with the picture. Okay. Yeah, it looks like to... Alf a little bit. All right. Uh, okay, so... let's do the thing. Okay, yes. So let's take a look. So we've got this... Um, doo -doo -doo. We've got this burlesque and churlish things, which so far we couldn't do anything with. We've got this... I don't think there's anything with that. I think there's just the... Uh... The crystal came out of there. Came out of the data recorder. A... So but... we might need to put that back. There's a very puzzly looking thing inside the data recorder. Yes. That's where we should focus our efforts. This is the data recorder you... Yep. All right. Hands. There we go. Okay. This button opens and closes yes, the data... Yes, I, I want to use it. Okay. So, uh, we have this uh, PDF here. And I'm actually going to pull it up on the stream here so that uh, you guys can see it. Um, Prepare for exciting PDF entertainment. Yeah. So this is, uh, so this is, here we go. Uh, popular Genetronics, magazine of space-based sanitation engineers. Uh, and so there's all sorts of stuff in here. 
uh, that's just, you know, silly things. I'm thinking of changing yeah, careers. Not... Currently a quantum microbiologist, but I find it highly stressful, considering checking out and becoming a sanitation engineer. So all sorts of random stuff that they wrote. I think I read, I was reading somewhere that this was the solution to this puzzle was supposed to be in the game, but they ran out of time. So they probably like wrote this while the discs were being printed <laughs> or something. Yep. Uh, but if it's uh, at the level of entertainment of the rest. Uh, the but jokes. here we go. Hoping Megan puzzle. So open the data quarter. Uh, it's based group of five squares or five circuits or plates. Okay. Uh, that can be moved. Actually, wait, let me uh, just move this to the side here so we can see. Okay. Let's get fancy. Okay. Uh, so there's IRK settings. So we've got the one, two, three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we've got these uh, dim for rep, which apparently are the chip, these chips, dentium, fermium, timtel, spendium, and the tachyon transmitter, particle shield, so space emitter, recalibrating fluctuator, and then ABCD. Okay, so we got all sorts of different things. And then we have, it looks like we've got a bunch of rules um, that they correspond to. Look, we've got, so all five plates need to create the homing beacon. We know that the feedback cutter offer and the tachyon transmitter uh, so the F, FC and TT uh, plates need to follow certain configuration ex ex rules explained herein. Some confusion about the re rating ones. Of these three, we know that. So of the recalibrating fluctuator, the subspace emitter, and the particle shield, uh, we know that one must be placed at sensor E. The others must be set to IRK uh one of the others must be sent to IRK1, and the remaining one must use the Spentium chip. Um, and okay. then there's more info. Is this just a periodic table of elements? Oh, <laughs> solution to last month puzzle. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. And then there's a little um, worksheet here. Okay, this is just a basic like uh, logic puzzle that we had to right. do on the car. So, let's see. The tachyon transmitter uh, should use the dentium chip. Uh, so, use a dentium chip. And should not be placed at sensor array C. All right, X on there. Particle shield should not be placed at sensor array E. Okay. Oh, these are more hints here. Yeah. Down okay. here. Subspace emitter should not use IRK7. Uh, okay. Recalibrating fluctuator should not be placed, should be placed at sensor array A and be set to IRK9. Okay, that one's. So it should be placed at. A and sent to nine. Feedback cutter offer won't work with the fermentium chip. Okay, so not that. And should not go into sensor array B or C. Uh, I'm confused. So there's dentium. Dentium, Dentium, Dimtel. Dimtel, it's like a takeoff on Intel. Yeah. Spentium. Uh, the plate that uses IRK3 also uses the Dimtel chip. So right now we don't know what that is. And the plate in sensor array D must be set to IRK5. Okay. okay. So then, wait, what, are we, what were these ones again? One... So one of these three, ugh, had to replace the other one in IRK1. Okay, so. One must be placed, okay. 
Actually, do you, do you want to... Uh, okay, so... Okay, so let's just look here. So we've got... Uh, I'll start my own notes as well. That's probably a good idea. Okay, so the... How does this... Okay, so... So we've got the thing, this, and then the chip on the thing. So the tachyon transmitter has that's that the dentium chip so that's correct right now and it can't be in c okay yeah do all the positive changes there are uh the recalibrating fluctuator has to be in a didn't that sally's brothers learn it Wait, how do i what that's um What's with the uh, subspace emitter and stuff? Like, is that actually subspace part of the puzzle? Where's the subspace emitter? I mean, is that part of the puzzle? Those these names here: Mark Particle Shield, sur Subspace Emitter. Uh, well, those are the functions. like S E P S T T R F. Like SE would okay. be the subspace emitter. So can you dissociate the? Uh, can I just like part put it over here somewhere? Aren't those two things tied together? No, you can you can detach oh the chip from the thing. Oh Jesus! All right. Okay, so uh, the recalibrating fracture RF has to be in A, but Didn't that why? Sell? Okay. How do I switch the places of the things? I'm confused. Okay. Okay, I can just put it on the side. Okay, cool. So, that's got to go there. And this has to be nine. Okay, and this has to be set up like that. I guess I might as well take everything out that I don't know. Yeah. So have you done all the rules on the second page? Yes, these are all the, I've done all the rules on the second page, um, except some of them are not um, determinant. Like some of them, the plate that uses IRK3 also uses the Dimtel chip. I don't know which one uses our IRK3 yet. Did you do this uh, gray panel, all these ones? Or is this just a listing of which is which? I think this is just a, that's just a listing of what all the things are. Oh, okay. So one must be placed at sensor array E. Okay, so that's right. So one of the recalibrating fluctuators, subspace emitter and particle shield has to be placed at sensor array E. Okay. So let's try the recalibrating fluctuator, I guess. Which, oh no, that one is, so it's definitely not the recalibrating fluctuator that needs to be placed sensor array E, because we know that has to be at sensor array A. So you can cross that off. Uh, cross that off as the thing that needs to be for A. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Except I already know that. Okay. Uh, so, subspace emitter. Let's, I guess if we assume the subspace emitter is the one that goes into E. One of the one of the others must be set to IRK one. Again, we know that's not the recalibrating fluctuator. Uh, so that means the recalibrating fluctuator must use the spendium chip. Hmm. Okay. Let me mark that. So we know everything for that one. Oops. Great. Uh, so that's the spendium chip. Okay. Uh, okay. 
Okay, so... Right, what did we just do? Recalibrating fluctuator. That's all set. And night qual and now we've we've finished C for the top these three. Uh-huh. So either uh the subspace emitter is at E and the So either the particle subspace shield. emitter is at E and the particle shield is at IRK one or the other way around. Okay. But we don't know which is which yet. Let's see if we have any info that would. Uh, ah, the particle shield is not at E. So that's good. Okay. So that means. So that. That determines it. So now, yeah, so that means that the sensor emitter, the subspace emitter is at E. Uh huh. And the particle shield is at IRK1. Set at IRK1. But we don't know where it's set at IRK1. But you can circle it anyway. Yeah. Uh, particle shield is at 1. 1. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. Making progress. Okay. So then the other ones we've got here... This here, the plate that uses IRK3 also uses the dim tail chip, and the plate and sensor array D must be set to IRK5. That's the tachyon transmitter or the particle shield, is it? Or, or the subspace emitter is at 3. Or no, wait a minute. There's three things. Do you think this qualifies as ASMR at this point? And let's put the uh, particle shield into slot A. Circle the one, and I'm folding laundry. Recalibrating fluctuator. Okay, let's see what we got. What other? What other? So space emitter at E. Recalibrating fluctuator is at A. Recalibrating fluctuator. It's even more effective when I make mistakes. Feedback cutter offer has got to be at D, I think. Because all the other spaces are. It can be at A, D, or E, but A and E are already taken. So that can be has to be there. At least we've got this funky jam. Exactly. Boom, 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 boom. boom Chill out music. Boom. Oop. Okay. And the plate that uses sensor array D must also be sent to IRK5. Okay. So that means this one is 5. Yep, already set. No, it isn't. Ah, the IRKs are mutually exclusive, too. Okay. That's, that's good, good to know. Yeah. Although that's implied by the. Uh, How chart. the instructions work, I guess, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, we don't know... We don't know what chip that uses yet, though. Other than that it's not the fermentium. Fluctuating. I can't, okay, move over the thing so I can read it. The which thing? Move over the PDF. It's you cut off. It should be. Put it like it was before. I haven't moved it. Well, it moved itself. Hmm. That is Shifted to the right. That is odd. There you go. That's good. All right. Are you keeping up the worksheet? I believe so. Okay. Uh, so, we've... Uh, the recalculating fluctuator is done. Uh huh. Feedback cutter oh. offer. When you get something uh, positively, you should cross it off all the others. That That's will make it easier. Good point. Good point. S 
I guess. So you Doku can cross off thing. five, on, cross off nine on all the others. Right. Okay. Good call. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I'm the and brains of this operation. One. Yeah. Okay. This is. That's a good call. It's an easier way of doing it. This is what I'm using my bachelor of mathematics for. Exactly. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. <laughs> uh, all right, so E is out. And e is out. E is out. Yo, E is A. And Tell is him what out. your game is. E is out. And A is out. Okay. I believe that's all the things that we can eliminate. Uh, D as well. Uh, right, yes. D, which is the feedback cutter off. Right. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Aha! <laughs> Alright, which means the tachyon transmitter goes in B. Uh -huh. Alright, we got this locked. Boom, boom, boom. Boop. Uh... Alright, I'm so lost in world of music. Goes in B. Cross those off. You can also cross off all the others for the ones that you have a definitive answer and for. <laughs> so this guy, the particle, particle shield, shield must goes be in C. C. Um. Do, 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 do. Uh, we've got um, three, seven subspace emitters in three. Uh, subspace emitter has to be three, yes. Yep. Which is e. this one. Boop. Okay. So cross it off, all the others. Yeah. Boop. Ah. Well, don't, PDF you don't have to do the ones where you're, it's already chosen, but that's all right. So, uh. <laughs> okay. PDF skills. Do, do, do. Okay, so that's got to be seven. Transmitter is seven. Uh, yes. So the transmitter is seven. Uh, all, right. all right, so the chips we don't have a lot of info on yet. Uh, oh, the plate that uses IRK3 also uses the Dimtel chip. Okay. Boop. Okay, so Spentium is used. Looks like C has to be one. Uh, so Dimtel has to be, uh, is, uh, subspace emitter is Dimtel. Okay. There's a podcast called Sleep With Me, which is just a guy. I know, being I, boring. I've, I've listened to it, yeah. It's a guy so deliberately trying to be boring. That was how you came up with the idea for this show? Uh, yes, yes. Try to be as boring as possible. How's it All going right. so far? Well, I'm asleep. Okay. <sighs> this is important work we're doing. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, uh, All right, what else we got here? We got... We got the funk. Gotta have that funk. We got so the funk. The, oh, Gotta have that out. funk. Out. Gotta have the funk. Okay, so the feedback cutter offer is this guy. Reading this text reminds me of all the like kind of funny stuff I read when I was and then twelve. That's the last couple ones. Robert Aspern books. Harry Harrison books. The but nobody actually reads those anymore. 
now that there's actual entertainment. Harry Potter, for example, is like way better. I hate to admit it, but it is. Not very funny uh, though. Almost nothing in Harry Potter is funny. Luna Lovegood. Moaning Myrtle. Uh Peeves, maybe? No, not really. Oops. Wait, did I miss something up there? What's the funniest part in the whole Harry Potter book? Oh, no. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay. If we get stuck, I will just look this up. <laughs> I don't care enough. I know. Or rather, I care too much about uh, your viewers. Particle I mean, shield. if we if we take a wrong turn, is what I mean. Oh, I see. Yes. And then that guy goes there. Uh, and then... C must be one. There's just here. This is the only one left, right? Uh-huh. <gasps> Something happened? Okay. Uh, I think we got to put the crystal back. I don't know why you can take that out. And then we go... Close. And then we go... Power. Homing beacon! There seems to be something stopping the data quarter from transmitting. Okay. But something stopping the data quarter from transmitting. But we do have the homing beacon. So we got that. Okay. We're awesome. Maybe you have to hook it up to something. Or try try the auto reconfigure. No, that'll just set it back to normal, I think. Oh, okay. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> don't wanna do that. Okay. Maybe you gotta hook it up to or go to the other room and try it. At least, and put away the document. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. All right, Get back in the middle. We did it. Doing good. Well, Who I exactly did it. is homing to us. Sorry. Who what exactly is homing do to us? Expect to pick us up. It's a good point, actually. Is it like a galactic thumb? Uh, An electronic thumb. All right. The Tigger's reference. Uh, one of these things. So we can't get past this force field here. Maybe the force the field homing. is what's blocking the thing. Try the homing beacon in this room. There seems to be something stopping the data quarter from transmitting. Okay, yeah. So you already tried the churlish chip in him. You yes. stuck it in the back of his neck. Have I tried the... Oops. Have I tried the um, burlesque one? Nope. I don't think so. It sounds hilarious. Why don't we do that? That seems obvious. It would appear that merging those two items is not a oh, good idea. I guess we did try. Why not, you stupid logical <laughs> thing? Uh, what right? about the CD? Put that in his head. <laughs> this is not going to work. Boy, wouldn't it be. No, no, no. Again, that's you're the, the one that's I making this that game. Box. Exactly. The corner of what the about? label in this Mahdi seems to be loose. Oh, uh -huh. wait. That's interesting. What did you actually do? I pulled the label off the churlish one. So now I just have a label that says churlish. Careful. Combining those items might cause a rip in the space. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, ha, ha. Now he thinks he's going to be churlish, and when in fact he will be burlesque. I don't know. Why does he have to install a special chip to be churlish? He has I to learn. Know. Like, I could see you have to learn burlesque skills, but... He looks plenty churlish as it is. All right. Thinking it was the churlish Madi, he pops it in place. Oh. Goodness. Woo! This is your Larry territory. Holy crap, yeah. Hi. Oh, he's got a tambourine and everything. And now he's gone. Like... <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> There's literally only the like room? 
what other no paul you're supposed to sit down at the i was just curious as to where he was <laughs> he appears to be totally gone okay Okay, he I need to get away from this music soon, so let's do this. All right, he burlesqued so hard that... Unfortunately, your brainwave patterns are far too pure. Can I you use... summon the ability... Unfortunately, you... Can you Unfortunately, attach your homing your... beacon to it? It would appear that merging those two items... As cool as it would be to enter... <laughs> A massive subspace neurotransmitter fills the desk. Amplified by brainwave patterns, neurotransmissions are not affected. But you already knew that, right? Oh, wait a minute. This is new. Oh, I think that's what is his, it. That, wait. Oh, it's his belt because he whipped it off. <laughs> Okay, that uh, looks handy. It's Nigel's belt, complete with a damping field actuator and a nifty personal grooming assistant. Huh. Well, that's convenient. Uh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> it probably seemed like a good idea to you at one time. Oh. You're activating. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I now that's have it. taken personal grooming thing filled with hair. Uh, okay, so actuator. We'll probably use it to clone him or something. Boop. Ha ha! Check out me, I'm leaving. Yay! I guess that's kind of good that we could have done that in a different order as well. With the um, homing beacon? Yeah. We could have done the homing beacon This sec. appears to be a damping field controller unit. At least it looks like most of the other <laughs> damping field controller units you've ever seen, and you've seen quite a few. Boy, this terrace is a nice change from the stink-laden confines of that apartment. Why was it stinky if there was a force field there? Uh, okay. Most force fields that I've seen let air through. Do you have a lot of experience with force fields? Uh-huh. This button. Oops. Bling, 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 bling. Ha ha, it's working. Wow, that was fast. Who am I telling to come and get me? The police hey, come get me. here's your it's fish. It's music. What? What did he say? He said, here's your fish. Fish? Fish, yeah. Why did he give me a fish? Stellar, you picked up my homing signal. Uh, I can't believe I actually made it work. from another one? Now I don't no think one can so. I spent a little bit too much free time in the bathroom with Popular Tektronics. <laughs> popular Tektronics? Who are you trying to kid? I know what you were reading in there. What was that voice, Masturbation Roger? joke. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Pay no attention, Stellar. It was probably just a mechanical flatulence from the ship. Anyway, we received a transmission from a nearby Starcon communications monitoring platform. They told us of some unusual oh. signal originating from the area of polysorbate 60. We dialed it in, scanned the coordinates, and found you. That was you fast. sure this isn't a character from so another one? So what are you doing in this sector, Stellar? Not that I, I thought know you were of. stationed on the SCS Heinz 57. Was she in the opening if you're sequence? Not, if you're not an expert I in, uh, I had some leave in this series, and decided to take it. You've really no. wasted uh, your life. This is kind of embarrassing for me. <laughs> I actually came to see you. She a Klingon? I've been thinking about you a lot lately, and I was curious I about what you've been up to, so I decided that, to visit. Just bad drawing. And when I arrived here, I found you had just left for shore leave on polysorbate. I decided to follow you down. I like that he looks like at least in his late 30s. When I got to that dump of an inn and found you'd been kidnapped by those thugs, I searched around but could find no trace of where they'd taken you. 
That certainly is a strange place. <laughs> in in the previous game, your love interest was Ambassador Wankmeister. <laughs> when I'd return, I found <laughs> that you left more it his up here on the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what to do then until that call came through from the Starcon installation. You're a lucky man, Wilco. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I am. If you hadn't gotten there when you did, I'd probably Pick be a up victim the pace, of some people. serious cement poisoning <laughs> after those geeks chucked me off that balcony. Terrace. What? <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> it was a terrace. Whatever. Thanks, Stellar. I sure owe you a big one. I'd sure like to collect that sometime. Haha. <laughs> but let's talk about you and me. Flirt, flirt. Perhaps I could the take The chemistry you to get is crackling soon. between these two. I'd like that, Stellar. I'd like that. I don't have a flirt button in there. The thing is that I kind of have a kind of a relationship with Meister? another, and I wouldn't feel very comfortable <laughs> I about guess. that. I mean, it, it wouldn't be fair to her. You understand? Technically. Not to mention the fact I'd be wearing my sphincter for a necklace if Beatrice ever found out. Mm. Okay, who's Beatrice? I hope you do understand. Uh, the Beatrice I like you. Wankmeister, I, I think. I, think. More I forget like what her first name was. <laughs> I, don't know I got too excited about the Wankmeister part. <laughs> You're a terrible space quest expert, Paul. Fear. <laughs> Pound sand, pal. You've only spent what twelve hours on this so Please far? Please know that were the situation any different. Twenty-eight hours. I'd be making that date Somewhere with you right in now. There. Yes. Oh, I see. Friends. Co-workers, buddies. That's all this is gonna be. Guess I knew it somewhere inside. I just oh, the friend zone. Oh, it's a terrible holy thing. Passive aggression. I guess I admired he just your told truest you heart, however misplaced. But I feel much more cheat? inclined to damn you for it. What kind of dirt bag is this? I know that's this? selfish, but it's how I feel. <laughs> I must admit it shows also, something more about Also, if I don't go with the ambassador, then I gave you credit for Wilco. Uh, it may well, cause a temporal problem. Because I already, yeah. heart, I've already met my son. Well, in Roger, a previous game. Uh, we should, uh, <laughs> we should see what we can find out about those subhuman walking dumpsters that had such a keen interest in you. I don't suppose you heard their names. Uh, Why? Uh, find no. out One guy was that. called Nigel. Neat personal grooming assistant. It needs a little cleaning, but. That's great, Roger. Don't clean it though. Take it to the sick bay. There's a DNA analyzer there. We can scan They're the contents really and perhaps up the use the time results here. to get some names and information about these guys. Huh. It's surprisingly Good useful thing, information. I probably would have thought of it eventually. Instead of just wandering around yeah, clicking sure on everything. Yeah, I'm sure you would have, Roger. <laughs> and Look, licking I've got to go to sick bay yes. and get some treatment for my Although back after that not so graceful rescue. In oh yeah, that. Uh, sorry. Well, uh, I'll see you there. In previous games, there actually has been a lick button that <laughs> hardly ever actually is used. Right. More fun in principle. Commander, I am receiving a message from Starcon. Oh, looks like the plot has Computer actually kicked in. On maybe. Also, that's a Super Nintendo controller in the middle. It's <laughs> pretty Hello, fun. Commander Kilbasa. I have a new directive for Deep <laughs> Ship Kilbasa. 86. This is it supposed is to be the wing commander? Request from me, commander? Uh, Lion? As you may know, I Maybe. served with Admiral Blunfang during the Fallopian campaign. Admiral Blunfang's widow is involved I don't know if there's going to be enough puns to get me through this. Community. They are almost finished, but have requested assistance from Deep Ship 86. Commander, I foresee another 12 minutes of cutscenes. Every courtesy. Yeah. You know, if things go well, this would not look too bad in your personnel file. I will let Sharpay, the Admiral's widow, explain the, further. The amount of cutscenes that I'm not actually involved with are larger oh, than I would expect. Commander Kilbasa. It's epic. As Admiral Toolman mentioned, 
So do give you time to savor the jokes as well. Here, but could you Starcon assistance? None of this uh, rewinding to, to find the honest, joke Commander, because you were laughing too hard at the I previous one. I pulled a few strings. Nope. So far, that hasn't been a problem. This is an important mission. Nope. I assure you. We get it on the first try. Since you are scheduled and also the to be second and third and fourth. For the dedication of the Golden Light Years Retirement Center, anyway. I hoped you might Are alter you your travel this? plans to accommodate an earlier arrival. Uh, From the information provided me by my old friend, the Admiral, you would be able to walk uh, here within a few hours. Something to do with she needs some assistance. I require some assistance from your ship, as you think she well might be as evil? one of your crew members. I think she might Allow be. She is using, using the evil voice. And she's an older woman. Meanwhile, back in the sick bay. If there's anything I learned from our podcast. Ah! Do you have oh. control? Am I actually doing stuff now? Yay! Ah. Sick bay has lots of beefy things. It's the keyboard for the DNA sequencer. Hmm. Oh, you're going to use the hair to clone him. Many things rest on the center console. Most of them are merely non-functional screen. Use the hair on the pretty cool DNA looking, thing. Eh? Just looking around. Right. Yeah, he gave me a fish. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Pretty cool looking, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna hey, find out information about it. Just as I was leaving, he said, "Here's your fish," and threw me a fish. I don't remember asking for a fish. <laughs> Uh, all right. Get to cloning. I'm sorry, Mr. Wood. The sequencer is for use by trained personnel. Jabba the Hop? Obviously Jabba the Hop. That description. I'm afraid I can't allow uh, you to use it. Well, well, because he hops. Ah, uh, come on, Jabba. Be a this pal. Movie makes, cool uh, <laughs> this game makes space balls look I'm like sorry, the work Mr. of comedic Wilco. genius. It's a Starcon regulation. Pizza the Hut was actually hilarious. Uh, can I give it to him and get him? It appears that merging those two items. Okay. okay, now grab everything in sight. Peace, Jebba. Who's gonna know? Let me try this one thing. I'll be out of your way. No one will find out. I don't know, Mr. Wilco. I'm not one to break regulation. I really don't think it's a good idea. Like kind of a proto Zoidberg there. I swear it'll only take a minute. Yeah. We're out in the middle of nowhere. No one will West. find out. And I'll tell you what. I tried to see if he worked on this game, but I didn't find any evidence job. he did. Day or night. What do you say? Free plunge job. <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> it'll only take a minute or two, really. Come on, Jebba, be a pal. Well, on, Jebba. okay. But just this once. Oh, really? If anyone wow. finds out, I'm sunk. Then I'll come looking the for you to that puzzle to it out on. Just ask Keep again. In mind. <laughs> no problem. This is probably done supposed to be something cooler, but they just I really got tired. don't know why I'm doing <laughs> this. It wasn't even a dialogue tree. I guess they hadn't been invented yet. I don't think there are any dialogue trees in this game. No. Uh, they were in Monkey Island, though. Monkey Island is a bit more advanced, I think. Yeah, well, it's it's different. Uh, it's Lucas Arts. Right There's now. a question: Sierra. Did Monkey Island come out before or after this? Uh, depends on which Monkey Island. This is I think. the first one. <laughs> obviously. Uh, the first one would definitely have been before this. I think. Do we even know why we're doing this? Yeah, we're supposed to scan it to find out who he is. Oh, okay. Yep, there's a clone button right there. <laughs> uh, Don't pick at it, you'll only make it worse. That didn't make any sense in context. Didn't print data card? Alright. Yoink. That's it? This is the program card you got from sickbay. Wait. 
Do the computers run on punch cards? <laughs> it was the early 90s. We should try to trick the millennials. It's the keyboard. I remember punch cards. We used to use them in 1987. That's delightful. No. It feels like. I want to use it more. It says you, that you got from sick bay, so probably Don't not going to use it right it. now. You'll only make it worse. Okay, pick up everything in sight. And press on right. everything in sight. It feels slightly gritty. It's a scale. No, you can't weigh yourself. <laughs> this is one of the control panels for the biofeed scanner above the medibunk. Skilled personnel know how to properly operate this, which means you should leave it alone. That's fair. All right, talk to this guy. Your words cause everything to become speechless. How dynamic of you. Did you actually hit him? Your utterances fall on uninterested oral Go organs. Go in the fridge. The fridge? Oh, down here? Uh-huh. Fridges have served us well in the past. <laughs> hey. Aha! <laughs> Great. <gasps> what is this? What, morphine? All right. It's a bottle of morphine. Oh, morphine. <laughs> okay. We, uh, what is? I suspect there's nothing more, but try grabbing more stuff. It's like, is she just having a massage? Stella is getting treatment for her back injury. You should be ashamed of yourself for jumping on her like that, you <laughs> baby. Can you get that? Any of these potions or anything? Look, this is science. These are called, this is medicine. They aren't potions. <laughs> Forgot what genre we were in. Okay, go up. So what do I do with this card? Is Can there you a do anything with the panel now? Like, is there a... What happens if That's you engage with the panel? That's an interesting idea. Uh, which panel? This one? Yeah. It's the keyboard for the D. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. What about but the I other keyboard panel? But I wanted to clone him. I don't know why, but that he was a good dancer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, leave. Okay. That's delight. Leave. It wouldn't be prudent to do that. I at beg this of juncture. you. All right, all right, we're even. Wait, what's this here? That's it's not just anything. a crate. <laughs> it's like a photocopier. Oh. Is that not actually an exit? <laughs> oh. All right. Oh no, we're trapped. <laughs> help! Help! help. help. Ah! Panic! Panic! Okay, push some of the things on the walls, I guess. Well, what about that panel there? That looks like something. Anything high resolution is it, or high, uh, oh, here high we go. Neat. I've always wanted to try one of these on the compost. It's... What? What the happened? Just, the game just crashed. <laughs> uh, hmm. That's interesting. Are you sure it crashed? No, it didn't. It didn't crash. No, it's booting back up again now. I just, like, I just restarted the game. Oh, okay. I thought it was something meta. Well, I guess that's the end of this episode of Paul Quest VI. What will happen next time? Hopefully the game will run. Otherwise, it's going to be a long episode. See you next week.